Well, each month, hundreds of families relocate to Southwest Florida, and most of them have one important decision to make immediately. Should they buy now or rent until they learn more about the area? And should they buy now or rent for a year? Link to his expert, uh, real estate expert, Denny Grimes, is here and wondering whether or not this waiting a year is a wise approach. And it's what a lot of people think, but you'll advocate against it. Well, because you, they don't count the cost. You know, parents will sit down with a pencil and paper and figure out the cost of their kid's education, but they don't figure out the first year tuition of a real estate education. <laughs> and there's a lot there that there's this can lot. cost you if you don't buy in the first place, right? That's correct. I brought a slide and there's three major costs. The first, the moving cost, the cost of moving twice. Now this is a small consideration, but it still adds up. Forgetting the wear and tear on your body and belongings, it could cost several thousand dollars to move. Yeah, no doubt. The second cost is a little bit more significant and that's the loss of a tax savings, renting versus owning. You see on a $200,000 mortgage, the first year interest is about $9,000. So in a 30% tax bracket, that's a $3,000 tax savings. Mm. And the big one, particularly here in Southwest Florida, is we're seeing improved market conditions. Is the market is generally in the last 12 months, the median sales price is up 10%. So you do the math on a $250,000 home, that's a $25,000 bump from this year to next year. So add those together, and you can see that the first year real estate tuition could be somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand dollars. That's a lot. Of, that's real money. And people don't stop to figure that out. You know what? There's a better way of going about it, in my opinion. So what do you do instead and get yourself out of that mindset if I need to go figure out where I want to move, what do you do? Well, first of all, you don't just wake up one day and decide to move. You know, you know you're going to move, so begin the process early. Use the internet and the tools. They weren't available 10 or 20 years ago. They are now. You can make a lot of decisions, a lot of inf informed um, decisions about where you want to be from the internet. Number two, get in touch with a realtor you trust and allow that realtor to help you. Number three, if you're not sure and you want to fly down, you can fly down a couple airline tickets a night or two in a motel is certainly a lot cheaper than the $30,000. So make some preliminary trips down here to get a lay of the land. And if you must rent, you're not, you're not are comfortable moving forward without spending some time in the area, look for a shorter term lease. Three months, six months, some, you might even find a month a month, which would be perfect. And they give you t time to drive around a little bit and not be locked in. The bottom line that the buyers have to understand is that they can make a quality decision within a few weeks. The extra 11 months does not increase the quality of decision, but it does get to be expensive. Yeah, I, I had never thought of how much you could really add up. And you're right, we talk about this advice all the time. If you're from the north, a snowbird, you can essentially buy the house online up north without even ever coming down here. So it's all there at your fingertips. Right, that's right. And there is a cost of making a bad decision, but I think if you follow these steps, uh, a real, I mean, a buyer can make a great decision and save themselves a lot of money. And now, do you counsel the folks now to kind of get out of that mindset, to, or do you still hear it a lot? We hear it all the time, and, and, the, and the reason they say, I want to rent a year is because it's generally what it used to take to get to know the area before the internet. Now, I mean, you can, you can actually literally through Google Maps walk down streets and look at neighborhoods, you know, from, you know, uh, Akron, Ohio. So you don't need to be here as much. You don't need a full year. And, and buyers really, really need to relax, in fact, particularly this time of year, you can find very affordable short-term rentals off-season. It's a little more tenuous if you're coming in in the prime time where, when the rentals are all booked up and people are getting three, $4,000 a month. But right now, when families move in the summer, if you need to get a place, you, it would be cheaper to go and, and rent a condo on the beach. We were just talking before the camera. It, it would be cheaper to go and rent at the Ritz-Carlton. Right. For a week, if you need to. <laughs> yeah, then moving twice. Then, then moving twice and waiting a year. That's good advice, Teddy. I hadn't thought, thought of it that way, but when you add it up, it's real money. <laughs> it is real money. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can always email Denny at uh, Denny at DennyGrimes.com. We'll try to get an answer for you here. Wink News this morning. I'll be right back.